Just can't wait to announce already. A little bit daunting. Great freeze. Hey. Hey. Why? Why are you laughing? So today is my first time going for a Pilates class in my second trimester. I really have no workout clothes because I haven't actually announced pregnancy yet to everybody else so I'm trying to hide and I'm like really trying my very best. I just wore a t-shirt and I just tied it up so it looks I guess more normal. And with black tights you can't really tell I guess like the tummy. But from the side, you can definitely see that there is a small tummy. This is like my sleeping shirt actually. I booked a class at Lab Studios via ClassPass. I don't know how it's gonna be like because it's actually not a prenatal class, but I think I will go earlier just to tell the instructor that I'm pregnant so that she can warn me about any like particular moves that I'm not supposed to be doing or some modifications if needed. Just can't wait to announce already because I think I'm showing quite a lot and my boobs are giving it away. <laughs> TMI but yeah. It's just some last minute work. Oh, these lashes, they're a bit crazy. I'm flying to Bangkok tomorrow. And I am packing but I've also got a whole bunch of work to be done so I just finished some yogurt with granola and chia seed pudding. I just need to stop snacking so much and this is driving me insane. Honestly, a little bit nervous about the shoot because I saw the storyboard and it does look a little bit daunting. Basically, I'm going to Thailand for a secret shoot. I can't say much but it's a commercial. Once you guys see on the big screen, I'll be able to share. For now, Cheryl is going with me to Bangkok tomorrow and our flight is at 7am. Once I touch down, we go to the hotel and someone picks us up for fitting. And then shoot starts at 5am the next day for two consecutive days before wrapping up and I'm flying home on Saturday. Fingers crossed nothing goes wrong because I haven't been the most lucky with trips lately and my morning sickness is really 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 bad and I'm just scared that I'll act up like on set or any or something so I am going to be baking more banana oatmeal cookies for those of you who don't know this is one of my favorite things to snack on. I'm going to be baking more and bringing them to Bangkok with me and basically be eating off this for four days. Alright, I just made my dinner as I am going to Vietnam in a few days. You can see I'm trying to clear my fridge. <laughs> Today I'm having dinner with my influencer friends. I think I'm the earliest but I'm actually going to tell them the news about my pregnancy. So I thought I would go there earlier to just be the first one. <laughs> I think Yuna is already here somewhere. But I will just walk to the restaurant first. Today we're eating Boyute. It's a new concept by White Grass and Havla. I'm quite excited and I smell some Bao Sing Wei. Mm, I want that too. Oh my god! 
chaotic here. Very <laughs> healing. Now we've got beef sandwich. Oh, nice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nice. At least it has been seven chestnuts. Happy Saturday. We are here in Galaxis because Matt really, really wanted to try this burger place. He's a big fan of burgers. I've never met anybody that said burgers are their favorite food. I guess likewise you can say the same for me. Laksa is my favorite food, so yeah, we're both interesting people. <laughs> so we're gonna try. What are we gonna try? We're gonna try a burger. Called? One Fetten Car. One Fetten Car. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint because it's not cheap, I guess. And is it not cheap? I have no yeah, idea what it costs. It's like $18, $25 for one set. Really? Oh. oh, one set. Yeah. One set is fine. But I can't wait to eat the fries. I've been eating fries every single day. Maybe that's why I'm breaking out. Look at the food blogger come out already. Looks good. Okay, it's uh, not cheap. This meal costs $40. But I love the service here. Everyone's so kind. to the NDP rehearsal. Quite excited but the weather is super hot today. Thank you Affinity for giving us the tickets. This is the rehearsal. So it's three weeks before the actual national day itself. So I'm quite excited to see how different it is because we haven't had any national day parade for the past two years due to COVID. I did hear from Cheryl's parents that this year's NDP is very nice and the stories are a lot more meaningful and more like COVID centric so I will let you guys know and I hopefully will be able to show you guys some snippets of the parade later Anyway, this is my makeup using the LB cushion as usual but I decided to do falsies today Hey! Oh, let me show you my bag Carrying the Mox Ole my tickets. I'm not gonna bring this down because they'll confiscate it. But I've got lots of snacks. Hello Panda, I've got chips. This is Ang Kukui from Sarah. I also was very kiasu because I really hate being hungry. I've got two slices of peanut butter bread and haichu. Hand sanitizer, wet wipes, a fan. <laughs> Tell me you are auntie without telling me your auntie. Wow, bright and sunny. Look at the queue. This year was so good! I always enjoy NDP. I think this year was one of the best, apart from SG50. What do you think? It was good. Definitely good, right? I think the stories were all really good. And as usual, the entire Marina Square is flooded with people. <laughs> because once like the entire stadium got let out, 25,000 people are on the loose. <laughs> and we rushed here. We wanted to go to Aston's, but it was too crowded. So we came to Collins instead. I haven't had Collins in a long time. I don't remember it being particularly nice. But let's see. This is my seafood marinara. Looks not too bad, I guess. Smells good. Ooh. I'm in the office today and I'm gonna attempt to drink my first cup of coffee in four months. Americano. I'm not sure how my stomach is gonna take it, but because I ate oats this morning, I feel a bit filled. I think it should be able to line my stomach a little bit. Look who 
Lucia. Bye. <laughs> Max is back for lunch. All of our current interns. So we are always like seven packs at lunch. And we're at Sanu Kitchen. Look at this pathetic. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Look at them. After lunch, come and buy bread. What's so nice about this bread? Oh, it's mochi bread. So cute. Bought some Bengalan solo. This is my favorite one. I can't remember what it's called, but I just love how sweet and carby it is. <laughs> Good but tiring. We bought this from Vietnam for them. 500 grams of mango. Oh, nothing. <laughs> What's that? And then this is the, the gummy that you guys will have seen. Duty. I love it. It's sour gummy. Why? Why are you laughing? Very sour, is it? <laughs> wow, it's very nice. It's nice, it's nice right? You know how much snacks we have on our table right now? <laughs> this, this, 10 pieces of bread. We've got Bangawan Song Kui. Brownie. <laughs> Just got home and I did some grocery shopping because I'm in charge of desserts and tomorrow we're going to Annette's house for dinner. And I saw this in Donkey. It's a jasmine green tea. It's actually really nice. There's like no sugar at all, but the jasmine tea tastes very strong. Oh, you know what? It's gonna be much nicer with ice. So let me get ice. I am making pasta for myself for lunch today. I've been craving for aglio olio, so I decided to do it today because I've got oven company over, which means I have to stay at home the whole day. And I thought I will do lunch. instead of like the usual white one. Edible I guess. <laughs> Can't complain because I made it myself. But if I ate this pasta in a restaurant, I'll probably write a really bad review. <laughs> Alright, it's Sunday at my parents' place and they know I've been <laughs> craving for wantami a lot so they say they wanted to cook wantami for dinner. What is this? Oh, chashu! Ha ha ha, guess what? We are in charge of the wonton and vegetable station. We have a small induction pot here because the kitchen is too small and there are like already four people scrambling. One person is doing noodles, one person is frying the wonton, one person is plating and bringing it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Wow. My dad made this. It's I know. Crazy. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Are you my baby? He, can you guys tell what I'm trying to make? I've been craving for mochi. Anyway, it's super simple. All you need is glutinous rice flour, sesame oil, water, sugar, salt. And just buy this. It's like available in Xingxiang or whatever. And then you just need to microwave it, put it over the stove or steam it. So at my in-laws, we have this like auto steamer thing, like a convection oven of sort. And it's gone in there for like 15 to 20 minutes. Just gonna monitor it here while I write my Mobong Eats review. This is the fun part, and then he wants to do it. I don't want, it's not a fun part. It's the fun part. Da, 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 da. So easy. Look at this person following me. This is good as the ones outside. Of course. I mean, this probably costs 10 times cheaper. 10 only. Probably. I mean, the whole packet of peanuts was like 2 plus. 
and then the flour Time to give myself a nice little warm food soak. I bought this off of Shopee. It's pretty useful and handy. You can like kind of crush it up. And my shower has a thermostat, so I kind of put it around this level. This off of Shopee as well. It's the ginger lao jiang pao zhao wan. <laughs> Don't know if it actually works, but it makes me feel like it actually does help to relieve my sore legs a little, especially now that I'm a little bit heavier. Thought I would do a sheet mask while I soak my foot and watch Exchange on View. So Exchange is something that I'm watching season 2 right now and I really like it compared to all of the Korean variety dating shows. I think I really like Exchange. On season 1, it's called Transit Love. Season 2, you can find it on View now so it's much more easier to watch. I always want to like slowly use my CG skin mask. In fact, all of my sheet masks, like I always want to save them for days where I have time and I want a full like pampering session. So this is the T-Tox mask. It's for hydration, soothing, anti-pollution and it's great. I really like it because I feel like my skin becomes a little bit more elastic every time I use this. We hurry because my foot soak is getting cool. Let's go. Okay, so that was a really really good combination. Face mask, foot soap, K-drama, highly recommend if you're looking for a combination to just unwind and chill. But anyway, time for skincare. I gave it quite a while before I came in to do my skincare. So all of the essences has already penetrated into my skin. So I don't really need to rinse it off, dab it dry or anything. It's just been fully absorbed in my skin. These two, my favorite CG skin products for the night time. This is the Youth Beam Anti-Aging Night Serum. Like I said, it has all of the things that your skin needs. pre pro postbiotics Basically, it's got a very nice texture. It doesn't have any scent at all. It's an anti-aging serum that helps to plump the skin and gets rid of fine lines. So this one is slightly richer in terms of texture. Let me just give you guys a close-up a little bit. And then with Dream Capsule, this one is great for healing your skin, I would say. Most of CG skin products are like multi-functional, so it don't only heal the skin, but it just helps to build your skin barrier, get rid of redness, give your skin the elasticity that it needs, assist the overnight mask, but you don't actually have to rinse it off the next day, and it's actually non-sticky. I would say it's an overnight moisturizer. You can see it's more of like a cream type. This is like a serum type. I'm gonna call it a night. Good night! <laughs>